and we're back. We didn't do a video last week, but what happened? Well, I was in, I was virtually in Georgia. You were virtually learning and we were too busy. Yeah, at the Institute Let's do of it Management now. Management. So <laughs> uh, we've, we've got our guests today all lined up. We've got all of our board retreat stuff going. So let's just, you know, jump right in. I'm first, right? So I'll do this. We'll talk about the Empower Local Scavenger Hunt. This is year two, year two of the scavenger hunt. And they are, they're kicking it off today. You know, some of the, if you've been downtown or you've been to any of our retail shops, a lot of them are starting, have already started their open house, their holiday open house. So you'll also find the Empower Local Scavenger Hunt signs, a little QR code to get you started on the hunt and go find those codes, log them in and they'll be uh, there's at least there's a thousand dollar grand prize for a local shopping spree and a few other smaller ones and all sorts of gift baskets and things like that, that your name can be entered to win. We had a lot of fun last year and we're going to do it again this year. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, again, more participants this year and more chances to win. <laughs> and tomorrow we've got our annual board planning retreat at the Buffalo Outdoor Center down in Pocket, the Riverwind Lodge. Uh, thanks to Austin Albers and his team down there for allowing us to use that fantastic facility. We'll have our present board uh, 2021. We've got our five new board members that will join us and we'll plan out our program of work, approve the budget and plan ahead for an exciting 2022 at the Chamber of Commerce. Then uh, Thursday evening, we've got our final win leadership academy session down at the OUR co-op our 15 uh, hand-selected uh, teachers and counselors from around the uh, OUR co-op 16 high schools. What a great uh, program this has been, educating them and our industry business leaders uh, about the need for trade and skilled workforce. Uh, we'll wrap up the academy this coming Thursday evening. Yep, yep, all about building that relationship between our business and education How partners. True. Um, and we'll have we'll have a lot of B-roll yeah. and some interviews and some stuff like that. That all that's all yeah. that in the pipeline. Uh, right. But hope to have that produced and something by the end of the year, um, so you can hear some of what they're learning also. Uh, and then lastly, on Friday, we have two ribbon cuttings, and that is with Los Ebenos. That is at eleven o'clock on Friday, and followed by the four o'clock ribbon cutting with creative lifestyle art. Los Ebenos is uh, over next to Western Sizzlin. That's a new Mexican restaurant here in town. And I'll bet they'll have samples too. That I guarantee they will. <laughs> I guarantee they will. And then at four o'clock is creative lifestyle. That's again, that's downtown yeah. on the square. Yeah. Uh, I think you're going to want to be at both of those. But if you can't, yeah. of course, you know that we live stream everything. So you'll find it here on social media, wherever you are. So far away. So, all right, how about our guest? Our guest this week is Mickey Klein with KBHQ, Ozarks Q Rock, uh, but also with NAPAC. If you're not familiar with NAPAC, they're celebrating 10 years. What's, what's happening in 2022? Oh, goodness, Wilson, I tell you, first of all, thanks for letting me be here, okay? Because uh, 22 is going to be a big year for us uh, on two levels. Uh, one personal, uh, meaning that uh, it would be 30 years since I personally had moved to Harrison. And on the second level, it'll be the start of our 10th year as NAPAC, North Arkansas Performing Artists Coalition. Uh, that's, our, uh, that's our 501c3 nonprofit here in town mm -hmm. that uh, operates Ozarks Q Rock Radio. Nice. 30, 30 years. 30 years. Does, yeah. it feel like, does it feel like it's been 30 years? Uh, actually, it kind of zipped by rather quickly for <laughs> me. <laughs> you yeah. know, uh, had a lot of stuff going on over those 30 years because uh, my radio career started back in 1980. Uh, up in Chicago, a little suburb out of Chicago called Elgin, uh, famous for their clocks and watches, okay? And um, uh, just a little 300-watt non-commercial school station. And uh, over the 40 years, uh, I have had opportunities to work with an uh, advertising agency in Chicago where I was 18 years old and the marketing director of this $6 million ad agency uh, where we were representing radio stations in every state of the country. And so... Uh, after about seven years of that, I decided I was going to get out of the radio business altogether. A sideline, like a lot of us radio people do, is I play in a band. And I was a drummer for a rock band up in Chicago. And we heard about this great place called Branson, Missouri, back in 1989, before the boom happened. 
And of course, our aspirations were to come down and do a show. All right. And so we came down here, uh, moved our families down here and our money man disappeared. So our show never happened. OK, uh, no way to get back home. And so I reverted back to my uh, roots in radio. Uh, here in Harrison, I've worked for every radio station in one way, shape, or form at one point in time in my career. NAPAC's concept of promoting independent bands gives them an opportunity that they won't see otherwise, that, that we're aware of. You know, uh, a lot of these independents, you know, they play on the weekends at the clubs and they play at the festivals. And, uh, but during the week, they have regular jobs. You know, they've got families to support. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, they pool their money together and they go into a studio and record their album, which just the recording process alone can cost thousands of dollars. And then they produce their CDs, which is another series of, of cash influx, right? And sadly, that stuff never gets on the radio because they're not from a record company. They're not on the music charts. All right. What APAC tries to do is use KBHQ as an opportunity for them to get on the radio and get out in front of the public audience. With our connections nationwide, uh, throughout the other radio stations that are just like ours, we're able to get their music played on these other stations and get them that national radio play that they would get through a, a big record company. Okay, the idea is to help promote their music, get them out there, give them their fair break. Okay, maybe not at the same level as the big guys can. I mean, we're not going to fill a fifty thousand seat stadium, you know, to have these guys play. Uh, but, we, you know, we give them a shot. And the idea is so that we can create these events, promoting and spotlighting these bands so that we can essentially raise funds to support music programs in school across the board. Nice. Uh, you know, music starts when you're young. I, I started playing guitar when I was eight years old. I start, uh, excuse me, that was 10 years old with the guitar, eight years old on the drums. OK. And so uh, my own kids, I have five kids of my own. Every one of them was involved in band, choir, drama one way, shape or form right here at Harrison. And so uh, that's that's kind of what this is all about. And, you know, even though uh, Ozark's Key Rock plays classic rock, we do the ACDC and Motley Crue kind of thing. Sure. OK, uh, but NAPAC represents all genres. All right. Doesn't matter oh, okay. if it's country or folk or gospel or what have you. I mean, if you're if you're into doing music and you got recorded and you're trying to get out into the public, that's what NAPAC is about. OK, is that, you know, of course, no promises, you know, but it's like, you know, we put the we put the music out on the radio. Uh, we let the listeners decide if, if they like it or not. And if they like it, you're invited to, to become a member. That's great. So that's great. So if there's local musicians watching this or if people know a local musician or someone who's someone who's trying to get their foot in the door and start their career, they would reach out to you or your board or NAPAC in general? What, is that, what does that look like? Well, that step, num about? step number one would be just simply to go to the website. Okay. Uh, it's napacnow.com. Okay. That's N-A-P-A-C now.com. And, uh, and we'll, show, we'll show it right now while, while we're talking about it. People will be looking at it. Okay. Website. Okay. Awesome. Uh, basically, it, it just explains the overview of the whole program and how people can you know, participate at different levels. If you're a band, uh, how you can be, uh, become a member where we start playing your music. Uh, if you're an individual who believes in the mission, uh, you can become a member. Uh, if you're a business owner in town, uh, you can become a member and benefit with the advantage of radio promoting your business. Uh, I say promoting, but, you know, just letting people know that you support the NAPAC mission. Sure. And what we've come to find over the years is that when when people hear a business on the radio through us, they know they're not on there because they're trying to be sold something. Hmm. OK, you know, other places they come on in. We got the best deal in town and that kind of we don't you know, we don't do any of that. OK. And so our listener knows that that business is on our station because they support what we're doing. Sure. In addition to the FM, we're also on the internet, so people can listen online. And our turnout online has been phenomenal. Mm. Uh, we're, I, I can't remember the exact numbers right now, but uh, all over the state of Arkansas. Uh, the thing is, is folks here locally, when they pick us up here in Harrison and they go home to Valley Springs or they go home to Berryville or up you know, toward Hollister, they can't pick up our FM signal. They come back and jump in on their phones mm. or you know, their laptop or what, or Alexa, what, you know, whatever. And so, yeah, I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty pleased and grateful uh, for the people who have kept us going for so long. That's great. That's great. Well, Mickey, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for telling us a little bit about NAPAC. And again, congratulations on, on your 10-year anniversary with NAPAC. That's great. Thank That's you. Awesome. And thanks for having me. Yeah.